Hi everybody. This is a right angle drill attachment and this is used when you have to drill a hole in pretty tight quarters. So it's an attachment that goes onto a standard drill uh, and you can use this either in the left handed or right handed direction. And really the reason you need something like this is because of how much shorter it is than a standard drill. So if I was going to try and drill a hole in an area where I may only have a couple of inches of gap to get my drill into, there's just no way that a drill motor this large plus a chuck plus a drill bit would be able to fit in that space. So instead, we use a right angle drill attachment. And basically, what you do is you attach this to a drill in the same way you'd put a drill bit in. So you have to, if your chuck is closed, you just open your chuck to the amount you need to fit the hex on the end of this right angle attachment. That's the wrong way. Once you get it opened up enough, you can tighten the chuck. And now you have a right angle drill attached to your regular drill. So if I pull the trigger, then this drill head turns. And I can also do it in reverse, so this will spin to the left. And actually, the last time I used this, I used it in a left-handed configuration to drive a left-handed drill bit for a stud extractor. So let's take it apart real quick. Now, like, like drills in the old days, this one has a key that you use on the side of the chuck to tighten or loosen the chuck when a drill bit is installed. Of course, modern chucks for homeowner's use are hand tightened. So you basically put it in forward so it turns to the right, hold this handle, and then the chuck will tighten itself. And then same thing for loosening, put it in reverse, hold the outside of the chuck, and then the drill, will, then the drill chuck will open up. But with one of these right angle drills, it would be even larger if we used one of these hand chucks. As you can see the difference here, this is a much smaller chuck. So, have to do it the old school way and use a key. Not a big deal. And one other tip, when you're storing these, it's convenient to put the key right in the chuck. So, just hold the chuck. Start to close it until it gets to about this size, which is about one eighth of an inch. Put that into the chuck, oh, the wrong way, and then tighten it so now you don't lose your key. And this one just has an R on it for some reason. So, pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.